the despair disease. And two consecutive murders. The thought of a third class trial fills the remaining survivors with despair. Why would the disease be a motive? Why did Ibuki hang herself? And why did Hyoko's body suddenly appear? Survive the class trial where mystery begets more mystery. Greetings everybody, Okaya Games Online. Welcome back to more Danganronpa 2. Last time, we wrapped up our investigation of both Ibuki and Hyoko's murder. We got double murder on our hands and, well, we are all set as usual, so let's just jump right into it. The class trial for both Ibuki Miyota, the ultimate musician, and Hyoko Sayanji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already! I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? Let's get on with the trial. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five in the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited. So Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room since she hadn't slept all night while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... It was the hanging video. A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought, but the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. 
We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our site. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Well, that doesn't sound interesting at all. Various ways? Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. Confirming both of their deaths. And so, we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Huh? You and I are on the same wavelength, Hajime. Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video, and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you can be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. It's just as Kazuichi said. Nagito is the kind of guy who will just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it! I should have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. I'm not the killer. There should be a contradiction somewhere. I need to find that and break through. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that it both that would also be a I don't think I can deny after all. Haj why would Hajime well, obviously because did Hajime kill both of the fact that the bodies were imitating the movie? No, that's wrong! We hadn't seen that movie until after the investigation started. We couldn't imitate it. I'm not the killer! I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or, did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, 
I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... Ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime, how long would you say you were away from the music venue? It wouldn't have been that long. I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean, a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <laughs> they were! If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! M me too? What the hell? Why's it gotta be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. But he's not even here. Me too! Thank you, Monokuma. Hey, why are you talking like... Huh? You're kidding, right? You're... You're not up to something weird, are you? He's always up to something weird. <laughs> Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? By technicality, the killer was inside the music venue. Fujiko obviously thinks so, but is that really it? The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. That person's remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside. No, that's wrong! They didn't lock it from the inside. They used this glob to lock the door. Wait a second. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? I 
It was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like, rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. That semi-transparent glob was probably... Well, obviously, it was glue. It was used to glue the door shut. I see! That semi-transparent glob must have been glue. Glue? Yeah, I think so, too. It had a firm, gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. Not something you would want to eat. I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, it must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap! Apologize to Miss Sonia! And me! However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time! Yeah, please don't. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. So, during the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slowpoke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Hiyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hiyoko was actually killed earlier. It's revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Ooh, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? That scrap that was stuck on the baton lighting in the music venue. Now I should be able to figure out what it is. We got another Hangman's Gambit coming our way. We have a one nine letter word. Well, I, this is a good this is a good start. Bah. Now let's just get the rest of what we need. Got a wall. Man, it, it just really love. Ah, oh, crap! All right. Oh, I'm not gonna be able. To... Damn. Okay. Let's clear off this before before I make this worse for myself. Need another P. There it is. Done. Wallpaper. Got it. That could have gone smoother, but it could have also gone worse. That scrap. Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, 
right. You overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting, tear in the wallpaper. See? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Yoko's body disappearing? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. Dangamoto. 